it's me again in today's London vlog. So I'm gonna take you and uh, another example Saturday, what I do when I have a day off. I'm going to a painting class. So I haven't been painting since I think high school. Wake up that creative part of me. I think how it works is like um, there is a tutor, so he's painting and uh, you and the rest of the people who are in the class, you just follow along and you get to keep your work. So let's see how I'm gonna be after, I don't know, so many years of not painting at all. Maybe my hand forgot how to paint. <laughs> I think that painting is something very creative and something that I do with my hands that's gonna keep me away from my phone. That's really what I, really what I want. And also today, the day is uh, super, super nice. So I'm gonna go a bit early, have a walk, and then my class starts at 2 p.m. Mm, let's go. I'm in a tube. I fell asleep in the train. <laughs> I think I need a gold thing. Oh, the sun is so bright. <laughs> I forgot my glasses. I need to go the other way around, but I just want to find somewhere a coffee shop. Yeah, that's open. There we go, got my coffee. I didn't record though that uh, the girl that was making the coffee because I had to leave my name um, and she called my name when the coffee was ready and I put Mashita <laughs> like my Instagram name and the way they pronounce it's not Mashita the, at the beginning I didn't um, understand was it for me and I said how did you say <laughs> and she said Mashika Mashika very very cute let's go I want to find that place uh, with the sun where I can enjoy a little bit of sun because when I finish my painting class, four o'clock is already gonna be dark. So, yep, yeah, finding a good spot for having the coffee on the sun. And I have uh, maybe half an hour before yeah, the class. Look, that's Barbican. Last time I've been here was. Oh my god, long time ago! Wow! Oh, look at that, so beautiful! Look how beautiful is this, wow! I have the same reaction when I saw the first time Barbican. Like a little small city inside of London. They have their own parks inside. It doesn't look like London at all. They have a church as well. Oh my god, look at that. Look how huge is this! I should have come one more hour earlier. And the day is a majestic, majestic day! <laughs> Parties again just for the residents. Beautiful garden there. 
Can I have a sneak peek? I just want to peek. <laughs> oh my god! Look at the Let me in. <laughs> Look the park inside. It's like a little oasis. Oh, look at this guy. Love in the air. So good, I'm on time. <laughs> we still have 10 minutes. Okay, so the painting class should be here. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Oh, look at that. I guess I'm the first one. Hi. Sweet. Yeah, that's my seat. I can see from here. A lot of people already. <laughs> Ready to paint. Ready to create the work of art. <laughs> this is what I need to paint. <laughs> Start things <laughs> Empty. Let's see what is gonna be at the end. I'm so excited, we started. And I'm gonna start from the middle. Left, right, dark strokes. You want to go slightly beyond the pencil mark because we want to make sure not to leave any gaps between the sky and the mountain. So you want to paint slightly over the mountain to make sure that no gaps is left. So once you apply some paint, right away you want to dip your brush into water and add water to the painting. No more if you start dripping. That will allow for the paint to be spread farther and easier and the brush will be lying over the canvas. Just filling in a very large section of the sky. I can grab more paint and add more water. And I'm going to let a few colors. drops of water fall onto this color and color fresh for longer. And it's easy to blend colors in the Again, I have quite a large amount Fixing my painting. <laughs> Don't need my much fixing. <laughs> <laughs> usually what it looks like so you start with a kind of a dot line and then a taper off the reason for that is again just the moment, moment of your hand and that's what we, we want to finish with a taper we want that tree to finish with a tip not with a stone so again we do it upside down it's easier they're giving you they're <laughs> My work of art. Oh, I'm so proud of it. It's gonna definitely go on the wall. <laughs>
I'm happy with my work of art. <laughs> It does look a bit similar. <laughs> oh, I enjoyed so much this class and I think my painting is pretty good. <laughs> it deserves to be on the wall. Oh, I'm going to Central now. I'll show you a little bit of um, Christmas lights in Central London. Hopefully I don't get too cold because now it's really, really cold. Oh my God, I'm so cold. Do I have to tell you? Even when you're crying, you're beautiful too. The world is beating you down, and I'm around for every move. Oh, que bonito! The trees are all red, and the London Eye is red. I'll show you the London Eye from the bridge. Go. more lights here and they're changing I'll also show you how does that look like from the bridge there seriously I'm very very cold now I left my house today at 12 o'clock there you go London I at night you see how the colors are changing that's it my friends from this vlog I got a chance to show you a little bit this side of London in the night and I'm super super cold so I will leave the Christmas lights from uh, the main streets in central London like Oxford Street they are all like Christmassy here you can't really feel the Christmas vibes but I'm so cold and it's not that close to go now anyways that's it from this vlog stay tuned subscribe to my channel if you want to see more just wait for the next vlog and I'll try to show you London as much as I can as a tourist who lives in London five years already anyway bye oh I'm out of focus that's it my friends see you in the next vlog Bye.